I am curious, David, on, on your stuff on Ma, because big piece, for example, on uh, Good Morning America this morning, yeah. arguing that he is, in fact, missing. Yeah, uh, he's not. Um, I mean, you know, I've made some calls on this, as you might expect. And uh, as our viewers probably know, I you know, uh, haven't seen Jack Ma in quite some time, but I've interviewed him any number of times. Obviously, we also talked oftentimes to uh, Joe Tsai uh, as well, of course. Uh, and what I can tell you is this. Uh, he's very likely in uh, Hangzhou, uh, which is the head, uh, where the headquarters, of course, Alibaba is. Uh, he's no longer, you know, sometimes we forget, no longer involved with either one of these uh, company. Uh, well, he's no longer involved with the management of, of Alibaba. Um, he is being less visible purposefully. Uh, and you can expect that that will continue to be the case for some time. He ran afoul of the, as Jim just said, the, the government, the PRC. You know, he's pushed on that line a number of times in the past and been okay. And I pointed this out in our coverage of it last week and the, and the week prior in terms of some things that he did that, that uh, certainly aroused some, some ire uh, in, uh, amongst the government, whether it was showing up with Trump, at Trump Tower in 2016, four years ago almost exactly, during the transition or couple of other things, but the October 24th speech just went too far. Uh, and like a lot of uh, uh, people there, he understands when you have to sort of, as it was explained to me, lay down and roll over uh, and kind of, exp uh, you know, just say, no, I I'm not, you're not going to hear from me. And so that is the case. Is he not going to show up to things? Yeah. Is he not going to put himself in any position where he's going to be speaking? Yeah, he's not going to do that. Could be months. Um, but it doesn't mean that he's missing. Uh, he, he may be not showing up, but he's not missing. He hasn't been captured. He hasn't been taken. Uh, this is not a Chairman Wu situation. Of course, Mon Bong, nothing like that. And remember, his, his uh, you know, he is the most well-known businessman in China. Um, he stands for innovation and for growth and a lot of things there. He is committed in that country. To, uh, to trying to give back. He certainly has been, at least, in the many conversations that we've had about it, very serious about it. And I'm told he's going to continue to focus on that uh, and that there is no expectation that the government is going to move on him in some way. We'll see what happens with Ant, um, whether they go to a holding company structure of some kind and are able to piece back together their hopes for an IPO at some point, let's call it many months from now, but perhaps this year. And at some point, I would expect we'll hear from uh, Jack Ma again. But to say that he's missing, Carl, I guess is, you know, I took that as, well, <laughs> was he even taken away somewhere to an undisclosed site by the government? No, that's not the case. Dave. Well, David, it's going to happen. One thing you Go just ahead, mentioned. Uh, that's, that's great news, right? That's great news because uh, I regard him as a patriot for China, but a fantastic innovator, someone who has just been breathtaking in, in being a terrific capitalist. But, David, isn't the problem, Ant, if Ant wins, then the entire banking system could be called into question. I always regard Ant as a combination of, say, Robin Hood, PayPal, and a lot, uh, Visa. It could be anything. But it does challenge the authority's edifice of finance. David, how do you get around that? Well, it's difficult. And, you know, it's funny because they had checked every box, I'm told, again, with the government. Uh, and it really was the speech that he gave that changed everything there in terms of the approach. And it, it's stunning to just go back, guys. We were talking about what was going to be the largest single IPO of all time. Obviously, it was not taking place here. It was taking place in Shanghai and Hong Kong. But uh, it was going to be the largest single IPO of all time. And then it was over. And, and the business model of the company is, is potentially changed in a fairly dramatic fashion in terms of the government clamping down, to your point, Jim. But it doesn't mean, you know, the Chinese also are walking a fine line here in terms of not stifling innovation, keeping the, uh, keeping the economy growing in a significant way, but making sure that their authority is not challenged. Uh, I don't know how they're going to uh, mm. sort of restructure Ant uh, to to be back in the good graces of the government and regulators. And obviously, Mr. Ma is not going to be heard from what would expect for quite some time. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think you can still expect that it is still going to be a potential growth company and one that is innovating, although it is going to be prevented from pulling on some important levers for that growth. Stock's going higher then. Carl, people were really worried here. I, I think that the uh, comments that David made that, about where did he go uh, made people feel that Alibaba is next to be challenged. I, I don't know. I, 
Alibaba's a fantastic company. If, if Jack Ma's just laying low, not being in that uh, shark tank for Africa, uh, not doing uh, anything that is poking a finger in the eye, a la what Trump did with China, then I think the actual company is going to be safe again. And that's what caused the stock to drop. I mean, Carl, there's a belief that perhaps capitalism is going to be reversed by President Xi. What David's uh, scoop tells me is, no, it's just that don't challenge the authority in front of everyone. Don't give a speech that questions the authority. President Xi's way too powerful to do that. Yeah. So, look, this is good news for Alibaba, and I think that it's also good news from the, uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Wouldn't we love to know whether President-elect uh, Biden uh, is someone who's talked with the exchange because I think President elect Biden very much wants to get off on the right foot with China because right. a lot of the so called China stocks, Carl, are doing great. Doing great. Yeah. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.